Hello everyone, welcome to Multi-Chain course. In this course, we'll be learning how to set up private blockchain on AWS using EC2 servers. This is the overview of the entire course. In this lecture, we'll be going through the lecture by lecture and understanding that what we are going to learn in the entire course. So let me go to the next slide. So this is me, your trainer. So my name is Toshendri Sharma. I'm a serial entrepreneur, coder, as well as IT Bombay alumnus. Uh, I founded uh, Records Keeper, a blockchain based record keeping solution on, on the cloud for businesses as well as for individuals. Earlier, I also co-founded a company called AppVigil, which was a mobile application security scanner. I did my master's in application security space and have a very good experience in cloud SaaS as well as the security and blockchain based application. Uh, I was also the part of the Forbes 30 under 30 list in 2016. So here is my email ID, my Facebook contact uh, link, as also my Twitter handle. So if you have any query or related to course, please feel free to ask. So what we are going to learn in the entire course. So of course, in this course, we'll be expecting that you know the basics of blockchain. What is the blockchain? How it works? What is the funda funda fundamentals? And if you are keen to incorporate the logic or the theory which we have learned earlier, uh, in this course, then you can actually use the multi-chain to implement the theory and create your own uh, blockchain on the cloud. So it's, it will be a real blockchain which will be working and uh, you know on the AWS cloud. Also in this course, uh, you know this multi-chain which we are going to use is actually the extension of Bitcoin Core. So it is like an extension of Bitcoin blockchain which you will be running privately. So let's see the lecture by lecture what we are going to learn. So lecture one, this is the one lecture one, which is the overview where we are understanding lecture by lecture, what we are going to understand. Uh, so lecture two will be the definitions. Here we'll be learning the definitions, understanding of the basic definitions keyword uh, and the what, uh, like, like say, let's say what is the mining, what is blockchain, uh, what is consensus algorithm, what is Merkle root. So all these things, which are the general keyword which we are going to use, what is the hash algorithm, what are exactly you mean by hash when you when I say hash. So we will be understanding the definitions of the keyword which we will be using in the course again and again. In lecture 3, we are going to understand what is multi-chain. So of course multi-chain is an open platform, but we will be diving deep to explore the uh, use cases, why it is different, how it is different, how it is better than, than other possible options available on, online and what makes it a strong and who created this uh, multi-chain and why it is famous right now. So we'll go through the multi-chain in the lecture three. In lecture four, we'll be understanding the compatibility and the differences between the Bitcoin core and the multi-chain core. Why it is different, why it is compatible and whether it's a good idea or it's a bad idea or whether it's a good news for you as a user, as a developer or it's a bad news for you. So we'll understand everything step-by-step -step process again using this uh, lecture four. In lecture five, we will understand how to create a blockchain. So this will be a practical actually. So I'll, I'll not be showing my face. You will be seeing the screen only and I will be jumping to the AWS dashboard, creating the servers, installing the blockchain, configuring the blockchain and connecting it. So it will be done using the lecture five and lecture six. So it will be from lecture five onwards a complete practical. There's no theory because we want you to see how this entire things work. I'll be showing everything in the command prompts as well as in the AWS dashboard. So lecture six will be how to connect to the blockchain. So we'll be launching the second node in the network and we'll try to connect to node one where the blockchain has been initialized. And we'll see how the data is being propagated from one node to another node without actually sending the data. So it is automatically done. That's the beauty of blockchain. And in this lecture seven, we'll be seeing the commands in the interactive mode. We'll see how you can interact with the blockchain using the command lines. And multi-chain has a very beautiful and powerful uh, JSON RPC. So using, using them, you can uh, you know interact with the blockchain, check the data, fetch the data, push the data. Also, you can create the streams and other things. In lecture eight, we'll be going through the uh, what are native assets in the blockchain and how to transact them. How will you create the assets? How will you issue the assets and how will you transfer the asset from one node to another node? So this is what we are going to learn in lecture eight. Also, we'll be seeing that how to push the data using the transaction as a metadata into the transaction. So that's a very important part because you can push any data into the transaction and you can see how it can be done using the command line. 
also the web interfaces in lecture 9 we'll be <coughs> working with the multi chain stream this is a very powerful and very strong use case uh, for converting the blockchain into a database right because not everybody understand why blockchain is a database but if you see and if you consider everything with respect to streams then you will understand okay this is a key value pair so we'll understand how to create the streams how to publish data into the stream we'll see how to fetch the data and retrieve the data from these streams so this will be all using the command line and we'll explain you everything in including the response object and the request objects in lecture 10 we'll enable the mining so that node 2 can actually mine the blocks and add the blocks using the round robin method and uh, you can add any number of nodes you want in, including 10,000 or 20,000 so we'll be setting up two to three servers initially and showing the idea that how the blockchain is configured in lecture 11 we are going to see the multi-chain explorer so multi-chain explorer is a just like a bitcoin explorer where you can see the transaction and the blocks and the details inside that block that can be easily seen in lecture 12 we'll be going through the web demo so there is a web demo multi-chain has recently released so using this multi-chain web demo you can actually perform the transaction using the web interface rather than going through a command line that's an optional thing of course but it's a very important part to understand the command line first and then jump into the web demo rather than directly jumping into the web demo so we'll be exploring how to install and configure and use the web demo in lecture 13 we'll summarize everything also explain you the records keeper why it is the strongest use case of the blockchain and how it works so that's all this is all about this overview if you have any question or anything please ask or tweet me i'll be happy to assist thank you